Hey folks, I'm Trevane Glory, and welcome to part 8 of my continuing voyages in Aurora 4X. So, as you can see from the blue text here, we have uh, some civilian freighters and um, colony ships out and about. So we've got our two colonies set up on Luna and Mars, and they are growing quite nicely. Uh, something that I'm wondering is whether these... Um, civilian shipping lines are limited to the, using the same ships that I have because I did look into their cargo capacity I suppose and I, because I'd been wanting if you look at so Luna for example I'd wanted some construction factories brought over here but they're just not arriving and I think that's because the civilian freighters just can't fit them in their ships so we might need to build some bigger freighters ourselves before we see that sort of construction happening. Uh, our own business just now, we've got over here, uh, there we go, our mining operations fleet headed out to Terpsichore uh, after heading out to, uh, where was it? Somewhere else, another place. Europa, I think. Um, yeah, we're sending it out to try and get us some minerals and we've had a bit of a problem with it. Many operations fleet there were there. So the Coniston has been backwards and forwards but just not been able to start its mining operations. Initially I thought it was because uh, like Europa was a moon etc etc um, but Terpsi Core is small enough that the ship should be capable of actually yeah I think in terms of the mining diameter it's fine does it tell us in here what no it uh, doesn't seem to have the mining diameter in there maybe if we check in research go to construction production um, damn it it doesn't Maximum orbital mining diameter of 160. So I think the current mining diameter is 140. And Terps of Core is not in there. Actually, does that. Ah, do I have to set up a colony on Terps of Core? Maybe that's part of the problem that I had before. So, Terps of Core, there you are. Uh, diameter is 120, so that's fine. So let's create a colony there. Maybe, we, even though it's going to be an orbital mining and there's never going to be boots on the ground at all, maybe we still need to create it as a colony. Seems a bit odd, but never mind. Actually, there's Electra. Just noticed that. So the mining fleet went to Electra. That was our first stop. Uh, no, 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 one again. Uh, hide comets. Asteroids with minerals. And well, not it's not showing up in here. Is it, no Electra? That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, so Electra had a diameter of 180, so the ship couldn't mine there, definitely not. But let's add a colony to that too, it also makes it easier to find. Okay, so, and the reason for all that is, if we check out our mining... Oh, geraniums! We're not using much geranium anymore. Still using some in construction and some shipyard modifications. So financial centres use Corbomate, research facilities use Geranium, but we've scaled back production there. Uh, mines, Corundium, and automated mines, also Corundium. And I think that's why, right, so Corundium, oh my goodness. Yeah, so I was expecting Corundium to 
deplenish, deplete um, quite quickly, but not quite that quickly because we're producing mines which should increase the amount of production that we have. So I'd hoping, I was hoping they might even out, but that means that corundium is obviously going to be another requirement for us. But let's continue with our uh, Coniston trying to get you to mine this asteroid. So movement orders, asteroids, no, don't need asteroids, colonies, uh, Terpsichore, three times automated mine. Who put automated mines on my asteroid? Anyway, okay, uh, so there's still nothing here about mining and there's nothing in here about mining either I'm pretty sure no nope. move to asteroid mineral source it's a standing order though I don't want it to move away from here Okay, maybe it means if you're at the asteroid, <laughs> just orbit above where you can mine that mineral from. We shall see. But movement orders a Terpsichore. Let's just move you to location, although you're orbiting it already. And load all minerals until full will be your next move and then it would be return to earth and unload minerals we've got issues also around about the deployment time and how long it's going to take to fill up the ship even though it's got a tiny uh, cargo capacity of 500 the deployment time is only three months um, and it's producing 42 tonnes minerals per, an per annum so it's going to take something like 12 years to fill up its capacity. So this was just an experiment in orbital mining uh, so that I could get to grips with it. Maybe use it more effectively later on. Uh, so yes, let's just move on by a day, see what happens. It's still another 58 seconds it's saying, so let's give it two minutes. Oh no, that is minutes. Right, let's give it an hour then. And it's still ticking on, so that suggests to me that something might be happening. Nope. You're just carrying out your st uh, standing orders, I suppose. No orders. Movement orders. Load all minerals until full. Well, let's give it some time. Maybe it just takes time for the minerals to be sucked out of the ground. Uh, we'll give it 30 days. Hopefully by that point there will be something. Uh, lots of retirements, but unassigned people. Uh, science team has completed the ceramic composite armour. Right. Jump into science quickly because we want to get back to defensive systems. Uh, and laminate compass armors and that's going to take a long time. Never mind, get on with it anyway. See we've got a new defensive system scientist after having none and having to transfer Francesca before. I, I don't want you to have nine facilities. This is just, I'm just going to let this one tick away. There's no urgent need for it so we'll create that project. Uh, and out of interest, 2064. So about 20 years. Uh, we'll speed that up again near the time. Let's throw the other research lab. Well, we could put five somewhere else. What else would I want to look at? Construction, production, Main production of 16 tons would take a while, but could be worthwhile. 
fuel production, something else that I want to get into, hopefully today. Ground combat, there's nothing. Logistics. Transnewtonian cargo shuttles. That's probably worth investing some research into. So create that project. It's going to take another couple of years. Right, so let's get back to the Coniston. We're still transporting nothing. Annual mining of 52.5 tonnes. Surely I don't have to leave you there for a year to find out if you're actually undertaking mining operations. What does it say it's up to? Um, Orbiting tips of core, load all minerals until full mate. That is You know, fuel. Uh -huh. Okay. Um completely and utterly confused. I'm sure I'm not the first person. Ship Combat Admin Command, there's nothing in there. Logistics Report, it's just a report of across the, the system. Shipping Line, Ship List, Lieutenant Commander, Movement Orders we've looked at, Standing Orders, there seems to be nothing of any relevance. Nothing here, no transported items. Do I need to spit? No. Load mineral X when available. No, will it? You shouldn't need to load mineral X. How do you activate your orbital mining modules? Right, uh, remove all. Go to Earth. I want to see if you can do that. Ship, no, ship list has got fuel. It's 87%. You're right. So move to Earth and then return to Terpsichore. No, it's not, it's not going to work. Okay, I'm going to put in a break. I'm going to go and spend some time Googling and try and find out how you start mining. Okay, so having checked places like Reddit and forums, etc. It looks like I'm not doing anything wrong. Uh, we have designated Terpsichore as a colony. This three times AM stands for three automated mines, but that actually represents the fact that we have a ship, uh, Coniston, with three orbital mining modules placed on it. So from everything that I've read, that this should be working. A colony, we've got Miner in orbit, uh, well we did have, let's move it back, that's what I was about to do. Um, da -da -da. I'm not sure what Terpsichore has on it, let's just go and, oh well, I better make sure, this is Geranium, that's why I'm here isn't it? Um, that asteroids with minerals only hide comets and there we go trips of core you've got geranium uh, it's hardly worth being here anyway geranium and boronide so i don't want boronide but does that mean it's going to mine everything and only load geranium and leave the boronide sitting on the surface hang on five geranium Okay, so it does seem to be working. Uh, right, 
Okay. So I can calm down. Just uh, load all minerals until full. And then you can finally come back to Earth ten years later than you were expecting to and unload all minerals. Okay, there we go. So hopefully that will now take place. Um, yeah, what I want to do next though is to create a sodium harvester. And I have my trans uh, ship tractor beams. This shows it here. You've got tractor beams, we've got sodium harvesters, so that should be everything that we need. So the first task, actually I'm going to create the sodium harvester itself. So, uh, what would it be? Sodium or fuel, fuel harvester? Fuel harvester station. Uh, conscript with no armor and new ship class. Well, I guess we should select new ship class first. Um, fuel harvester station. Select name. And let's just go with something different, not Real Navy. Uh, UK Prime Ministers, why the hell not? Yeah, okay, good. Uh, Jimmy Callahan. If you have a citation, James Callahan, right. Conscript crew. Let's get to miscellaneous. Uh, select random name from theme. No, I'll leave that off actually. Okay. Don't need anything there. Right. And we will need sodium harvesters. Uh, 40,000 litres per annum, we want much more than that, and they're not that heavy. So if we go for 200,000 litres per annum, it's probably nothing like enough. Let's up it then. It's 25,500 tonnes. So the plan's going to be just this. This is just an orbiting station, and it gets towed by tugs out to <clears throat> the gas giants. We'll need a refueling system. Doesn't need a tractor beam itself. Maintenance storage. It will need. Small, it should be more than enough. Deployment time is forever. We'll go 60 months. And fuel storage. How much does this give us? 100,000 litres. So a capacity of 500,000 litres. So every year. It should be drained. Doesn't need an engine. Crew quarters, etc., are assigned automatically. It doesn't need a bridge, I don't think. Well, I guess it does. Because you can't remove that. Doesn't need armour. Still needs a bridge, though. But that's taking the weight down to 26,000, 27,000 tonnes. Okay, structure, bridge, crew, engineer spaces, fuel storage is a 
Okay. Let's go with that and lock that design. So that's 26, 27,000 tons. And next, we want a tug. And I have seen, yeah, tugs. And select a name. We'll go back to the Royal Navy. Uh, I thought there had been tugs in here. I'm actually thinking, <clears throat> um, yeah, tugs are going to be, you're going to be the James Callahan class of tug. Let's go back to our what have I done? No, this is, I've not set the new tug class yet. Um, but where's our uh, sodium fuel harvester? It's not showing up. Civilian? Nope. Ah, uh, it's full or small. Let's have a quick look while we're here. Nope, they're not the same as the... Reliant, so I don't know why they've limited themselves to that small cargo bay. Anyway, that's not what I'm supposed to be looking for. Huh. All right, uh, it's, that is not meant to be tug. Unlock design. Uh, why am I getting that though? So I've set up a fuel harvesting station. And I locked a design. Oh, okay. Right. Never mind. We'll figure that out later. Uh, let's just go with Royal Navy tankers for these. Um, uh, presto. So rename the class to Presto. Keep everything else as it is for a thousand, fifty thousand per hour. 13, right, okay. Lock the design. And then we're going to shut that down actually, and we're going to head up to our uh, industry. Space stations. Fuel harvesting station Prestall requires. Uh, boronide, mercassium. Uranium, but that's all in stock. So let's create one of these. Need to keep that going. That's okay to leave it as. Um, yeah, so let's create one fuel harvester station. And I think to accommodate that, we'll reduce this. And this, and then we can assign 25% in there, and up Q. Okay, so June, it only takes three months, and then that should be ready to go, but then we still need to tug. Right, so done. Next. I'm going to have to design design a new engine for this, I'm pretty sure. But let's go ahead with our tug. And obviously it just didn't clear the previous uh, class design until you click on new ship class. So the tug and the tugs are going to be 
the UK Prime Ministers. James Callaghan, there we go. Uh, conscript crew again. And... I mean, if the engines that we've got at the moment, this is our uh, most powerful engine. It can give us 4,400 kilometers per second, theoretically. But when it's towing 27,000 tons, Actually, can I mock that up? Let's add in fuel storage. No, let's not go with fuel storage. Let's go with cargo holds. They're bigger, I think. Standard. Yeah, so there's 27,000 tonnes, 361 kilometres per second. Right, so hopefully that gives me a good estimation of the sort of speed it will achieve uh, when it's towing a station. Leave that as it is. Right, so yes, we do need to, or I do want to design a new engine. But for the tug, uh, it needs a tractor beam. Will one tractor beam be enough? Hopefully. Doesn't need to refuel. Um, any of this deployment time here would be let's see, 12 months let's get us some small uh, maintenance of storage bays or um, small maintenance storage bay uh, fuel storage we've got 44.7 billion kilometres range at the moment I think we will uh, remove that and we'll add in instead a couple of small. A small and, say, a tiny. That should be enough, I would hope. Uh, fine, right, engine will come to... We shouldn't need cargo hold or cargo shuttle hold, uh, shuttle bay. Right, miscellaneous, anything in here? Yeah, select random name from theme. Uh, and again, this is going to be our UK Prime Ministers. Her <laughs> Majesty's tug. Assign this to um, I was going to assign it to the logistics fleet. We just assign it to this the shipyard fleet just now and we'll sort that out later. It's not a squadron, is it? No. no. It's a sub fleet. Anyway. Okay, so we have our James Callahan class tug. Engines. We now have, and again. First of all, let's check out our engine manufacturers. Curtis Marine is our uh, our uh, civilian our engine uh, designer developer. Nuclear gas core is the best that I can get still. We do want... No, do I want this to be a military engine? Because we do want something really powerful, so it could be used in other ships. So if we leave fuel consumption... Our engine power at 100. 150. Engine size, 15 is 225, how about engine size 25, 375, 
50. Okay, I think we will give this a try. So this again, as I said, Curtis Marine. And this is going to be Terrier. No, we've already got a Terrier. This is going to be the Bulldog class engine. It's military engine, nuclear gas core. Engine power of 450. It's bloody expensive in fuel. Let's see if we drop this a bit. add in two engines to get the power. Uh, we'll keep that at 150. We'll give this one a go. Uh, damn it. What did I call it? The Bulldog. Uh, military engine. Nuclear gas core technology. Engine power of 450. Fuel consumption of 573. And hull size is 30. Hmm, right, let's prototype it. And then if we come in here, uh, not there, here, check our prototypes. So the Bulldog 573 fuel use compared with 14 here for, well, just over double the. Uh, Engine power. Probably not the most fuel efficient then, so we'll give it a try. However, let's go to James Callahan, and if we were to add in the Bulldog. What? Oh, yeah, let's get rid of that Terrier that we we're trying out before. Um, Bulldog gives us 9,500 kilometers per second. If we go back to their cargo hold, add in standard, 27,000 tonnes, it gives us 812 kilometres per second. So that's probably the slowest I would want it to be, I think. Uh -huh. Um. Maintenance life of 0 0.03 years. Supply points 111. Maximum repairs 225. Now I don't know if, if that's related directly to this the cargo hold, which we're not going to have. We probably don't need any more maintenance, but I can't take the chance. So we'll add some more. 236 takes us over the maximum repair value. Incremental failure rates 85%. Annual failure rates 6,143%. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we'll get rid of this. Annual failure rate of 45%. Uh, maybe 331. Supply points, 225 is what we need. So it does look like that would survive. It's very nippy when it's unloaded. Um, yeah, so we'll try this, see how we get on. So we need to research the prototype. Come back into our research screen and find Zoe O'Connor. 
July. So you've got four months before you've completed that. And then you're going to go into the magnetic mirror fusion reactor. Uh, so I want... Um, if that's in there... Oh, we can't move up the queue. Yeah, so cancel that and cancel that project. Let's get into power and propulsion. The Bulldog. Zoe was working on it. Let's go back to Stephanie. All the labs. That'll be done now in July. Going to remove three from there. We'll swap that around. This brings it down by a month. Not fantastic, but never mind. In fact, let's just round this off. Down to five. Add them in there, right. So, you'll study that first, or research that first, and then we'll add in this, and then add that as well. So that gets us our engine, then we can get our ship designed. I don't think I can retool the shipyards yet. I can't build this because I don't have a big enough capacity. Alright, okay, so we're a bit screwed just now because that's a military ship because of the nature of the engine. I don't have a large enough shipyard to build it. Okay, so. Hmm, hopefully we're going to have enough fuel to last us. We should have plenty of sodium, I think, in stock. We've got 206, a quarter of a million there. We've got 17,000 in the stockpile. 153 years until it's depleted, so we should be okay. Um, so we can take our time, get a naval shipyard capacity increased, and then get that ship underway. And in the meantime, I suppose we're sending out small orbital miners to try and do the business. Anyway, it's time for a break. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I uh, not become frustrated. Uh, please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and hope to see you again next time. Cheers.